world, quite frankly, Kira, is surprised by the will of the Ukrainian people to stand up and fight. Are you? Well, I'm not surprised. I, uh, we have been fighting uh, Putin for the last eight years. But right now, it's a critical time because we know that we not only fight for Ukraine, we fight for this new world order, new world order for the democratic countries. We knew right now it's a critical time because we know that we not only fight for Ukraine, we fight for this new world order, new world order for the democratic countries. We knew that we are the shield for the euro. As a matter of fact, a Ukrainian member of parliament says, quote, we are not only fighting for Ukraine, we are fighting for the new world order. Give me your perspective. I think we also need to recognize that Vladimir Putin was also one of the alumni of the global yeah. young leaders that came through the World Economic Forum. We see that with Putin, that he is one of them. But there's also, for instance, a journalist in Ukraine who also was one of these young global leaders. And she's been actively calling for the United States and the European Union to get engaged. We saw it just recently in Canada with Prime Minister Trudeau and the Deputy Prime Minister Christina Freeland and half of the cabinet right. of Canada, all of whom are graduates of the World Economic Forum Young Global Leader Program. When I mention our names, like Mrs. Merkel, um even uh, Vladimir Putin and so on, they all have been young global leaders of the World Economic Forum. Mm -hmm. But um, what we are very proud of now, the young generation like uh, Prime Minister Trudeau, um, President of, Pres of uh, Argentina and so on, that we penetrate the cabinets, that we penetrate the cabinets. So, you know, to China must participate and every industry from oil and gas to tech must be transformed. We need stronger and more effective government. We must build entirely new foundations for our economic and social systems. This is all direct from Klaus Schwab, the head of the World Economic Forum. Our old systems are not fit anymore for the 21st century. It has laid bare the fundamental lack of social cohesion, fairness, inclusion, and equality. Now is the historical moment, the time, not only to fight severe virus, but to shape the system for the need for the post-corona era. Uh, he goes on to say that the most important issue is a shift in all of our mindsets. And they're not kidding. Uh, if you want to know what kind of shift they're talking about, uh, basically just take all the things that uh, the Bible talks about, you know, man, woman, family, mother, father, children, private property, uh, you know, uh, have it be fruitful and multiply, all those things that uh, God teaches in the Bible, flip them exactly upside down and voila you understand the new mindset that they are pushing us toward. Schwab himself explained what this means in 2016. He said it's a revolution that will fundamentally alter the way we live, work, and relate to one another. Uh, this transformation, he says, is going to be unlike anything humankind has experienced before. We're going to bring together all the stakeholders of the global polity. And uh, he says this revolution is going to blur the lines between the physical, digital, and biological spheres. Uh, Agenda 2030 is basically the UN roadmap for humanity uh, going forward. They want to achieve this stuff by 2030. Uh, they want everybody so brainwashed. All the kids are going to uh, not just accept sustainable development, but promote it. Go down to goal number 10. We have to have global wealth redistribution. This is a direct quote from Agenda 2030. We need to reduce inequality within and among countries. This is only going to be possible if wealth is shared and income inequality is addressed. Right. All this is going to be brought in through the UN Agenda 2030. And it's no surprise, the World Economic Forum and the United Nations actually signed a partnership last year. It's called a Strategic Partnership Framework, where the WF agreed to help the UN implement Agenda 2030. Uh, their role is going to be bringing in the uh, the private sector, so-called the mega banks, the major corporations, big pharmaceutical companies on board with the UN agenda. Now, uh, at the unveiling of this great reset, you also had uh, the Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres, an actual socialist. He was actually the leader of the Socialist International before taking over the UN. And uh, he just loves this thing. I mean, he says uh, the Great Reset 
is a uh, welcome recognition that this human tragedy must be a wake-up call, must build a more equal, inclusive, and sustainable economies and societies, and blah, blah, blah. Um, you can go watch the video. Incredible stuff. Then you had the head of the IMF, one of the four leaders unveiling this monstrosity. Uh, she talked about this very massive fiscal stimulus that they're injecting into the global economy, but they're going to use this, she said, to force everybody to submit to their green world order. It's going to be fairer and smarter. Thank you.